Good morning and welcome everyone. Welcome back to Expat Living in the Philippines. Michael, as always, is your host. And my very able, also competent camera person, Alexander. Now, what we're doing today, I want to show you, because now the, the fish pool, the tank itself, is almost complete. Now, what we're constructing now is, is the frame. The different frame that will go in and slide into different compartments of the pool. So that allows me then to segregate um, the fish and the fry once they start breeding so I can isolate the parents from their, their, um, their newly hatched fry because they'll eat them. <laughs> so this is what we have to do. So in all there'll be, um, when it's complete, there'll be eight different compartments which I can interchange, make longer, shorter pools, or whatever. So, uh, my um, my good friend and builder Toto here is busy helping me construct the cages and the frame. So, this is what he's doing at the moment. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So, frame, all these frames will end up in here. There and there, and so on. So, but I don't have to separate them all at once. I can just have a large pool if I want, and then cut them down in half when they start breeding. And it's very versatile. It, it, it will have many uses then. And the main thing here in this part is going to be um, the koi carp. That's what, that's what it's really designed for here. To put the koi carp in here and keep them separate from. Like this red tilapia or guppies or whatever is, is we'll breed. So that's what we're doing here. So it's always work in progress here. And I'm very fortunate to have um, a good person. So he's a good builder, so we're very lucky. So, um, just thought we'd give you that update. So thanks for watching, guys. Any comments? Yeah, please. Yeah, do so. Share and subscribe if you wish. So thanks again, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Okay. Bye for now. What's the flipper? It's in different sizes. Yeah. Where was the the lock? Okay. Oh. This has not, not been... in these, only the first one. Ah, oh, okay. It's been got this. And it has, Oops. It hasn't been trimmed yet, so mm. it's it's rubber tubing that goes into there, mm -mm. Uh, and it's forced into there and holds the the mesh in there. Simple way. So it's done on all aluminium work. It's very the same the same process. Aluminium windows and doors. It's done this way. So, um, rubber tubing. Can you cut the pieces? Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. You've got much jewelry now. More in Japan. Thank you. 